Hey everyone and welcome, and has Nolan North, Edward Richtofen's voice actor, just confirmed or at least hinted that he will be returning inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies? Well, there's loads of evidence to suggest this, and by the way, if you're new around here, I post videos on video games as well as mostly COD Zombies nowadays. So if you're excited for COD Zombies going forward, especially with Black Ops 6's reveal just on the horizon, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all that good stuff. So some of you may know Nolan North as having many different roles such as Deadpool in the video games and animation space, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, he's also in games such as Ratchet and Clank, but people mostly know him from COD Zombies where he plays a few different background characters but is well known for playing Edward Richtofen. And with Cold War and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies teasing Richtofen's return, with even Richtofen appearing in the Cold War post credit scene with the song We'll Meet Again playing in the background, it's all but reasonable to suggest that if he does return in Black Ops 6 Zombies then surely Nolan North should return as well voicing him. Well in Black Ops 6 Zombies we've already had hints that he will be returning and I recently did a whole video covering how he will return using the information and intel system found in Vanguard, Cold War and Modern Warfare 3, so if you want more story and lore details go ahead and watch that. But what about Nolan North? Well let's go through some evidence on how Nolan North has basically all but confirmed or at least teased he will be returning inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies. Firstly was a video posted by the user Bailey Berry, whose channel and video will be sourced on screen as well as in the description below so definitely go check his, his content out. It's definitely a really interesting video to watch as he talks about his time actually meeting Nolan North through the other day. In his video he talks about how he went to a convention recently where in the footage I'm about to show you he actually meets and then asks Nolan North if he's returning in Black Ops 6 and here are the questions and answers that he has in the video. Okay, to piggyback off his question right here, will Rick Toffin be coming back as a playable character in Black Ops 6 by any chance? Who's next? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is the most honest answer, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if he's not seen the last six. I don't know. Um, I, I can't tell you. No, I can't tell you. <laughs> As you just heard, Nolan here kind of gives a teasing, very much a non-answer to the question, as he's an industry veteran so he's probably used to answering these sorts of questions about upcoming projects whilst under an NDA agreement where he basically can't talk about the game very much, he's under a legal requirement to not say anything. Plus we know that Richtofen will definitely feature in Black Ops 6's story and if he does indeed return, Treyarch can't possibly replace such an iconic voice talent such as Nolan. North. Okay so on to the next piece of evidence. This next piece of evidence comes from Glitching Queen's video posted in early July of this month detailing how one of her friends actually went to Mississippi Comic Con where he was talking about the fact that he actually got to meet Nolan North once again and asked very similar questions. In this video, if you go ahead and watch it, she states that her friend states that he they got talking about things like the video that Triog put out for Ultimus and Primus, you know, where all the voice actors are together talking about that this was going to be their last, you know, Tag to Totem was their last experience in zombies, and they were talking about Zombie Chronicles and World at War and all that good stuff. But it's here where Nolan actually asked her friend that if he had purchased Black Ops 6 yet. So Nolan and actually asked the friend have you bought Black Ops 6 yet or pre-ordered it and then whispered in his ear using the Richtofen voice saying you definitely should. Now again more teasing from Nolan here, I mean why would you tease a project that you're not even in, it just doesn't make sense. I know Nolan's got strong ties to Treyarch, Call of Duty and Activision and COD Zombies but it only makes sense that he would tease a project that he's actually in. Okay, one even more evidence. Well, in recent articles from gaming journalists, I saw a link below in the description, a fan actually met Nolan North at another one of these conventions and asked another question very similar to the questions that I've talked about in the video so far about Richtofen and Nolan North returning in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Again, this fan started asking Nolan questions and Nolan, when questioned, stated that by casually mentioning to him that the developers had one more major trailer for Zombies in store before the official release and described it as pretty mind-blowing, stating that he'd already seen the trailer. 
Nolan then stated that he thought that the trailer might be coming in late August or early September, especially with his ties to Trail and Activision it's safe to potentially take his word on this, and we also know the fact that obviously COD Next is doing a full gameplay reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies for Terminus Island, so the question is now, will Richtofen appear somewhere in the next story trailer? How else would Nolan have known about the next trailer for Zombies? Paid off, and yeah, we're gonna have Zombies at next, so you're gonna get to see people playing Zombies live, yes. and we'll be talking about a lot more in the next few months. I can't wait. And again, if we look all the way through COD Zombies of the past, we got Black Ops 2 Transit's reveal trailer on the 26th of September, we got Shadows of Evil's reveal on the 9th of July 2015, we then got Black Ops 4 Zombies reveal on the 17th of May at their live stream event, revealing Black Ops 4 at COD Next yet again, and we then got Cold War's reveal much later on the 30th of September as that was delayed due to the pandemic. So I'd say it's safe to assume that the next trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies will be both at COD Next in late August as well as maybe another one after that in September. As we know we'll definitely be getting a full gameplay reveal in August as a part of COD Next. Call of Duty and Treyarch have already stated that they're going to have like live gameplay of YouTubers playing the map Terminus. So again, we're going to have to see how that goes. Personally, I don't really want to see, you know, like a full live stream of gameplay. I'd rather they just drop a gameplay trailer, maybe a story trailer. I feel like that makes more sense. I personally like to play the map blind on day one. But who knows, maybe we'll also see Liberty Falls at COD Next as well. We're going to have to wait and see. And as for Nolan North and Richtofen appearing in one of these trailers, well, in my opinion, you can't have Richtofen without Nolan North. He goes hand in hand with the character and is just so iconic with his performance. I know there's an argument, well, actually, this is the different version of Eddie that we see, you know, the child version that we see in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 of Richtofen, so he could be voiced differently because he's technically a different person with a slightly different soul or the similar soul or whatever. But Treyarch still kept Julie Nathan's as Samantha Maxis when she returned in Cold War. And for those who don't know, Julie's also been voicing Samantha Maxis since World at War, with Nolan also voicing Richtofen since World at War, so it only makes sense to bring him back. And as for Richtofen potentially appearing in a future trailer, well, I think it's really unlikely, but at the same time, they could go the, the Marvel route of the marketing, where, for example, the MCU is in a currently really bad state, and they've done loads of marketing for Deadpool and Wolverine because they know that that's a film that people actually want to see, that are people that are actually excited for. And I think Call of Duty is in a very similar state at the moment, where Modern Warfare 3 was zombies by the round-based community has not been received well at all like people aren't as engaged with the story for example maybe only watching a handful of the cutscenes on youtube vanguard was an absolute disaster from start to finish so i kind of feel like with treyarch getting back on track with black ops 6 they may be want to put Rick Soffin at the end of like a post credit scene in a trailer like you know where they reveal the title like Black Ops 6 Zombies and then afterwards it like cuts to Rick Soffin for a couple frames and then ends the trailer. I could see them maybe doing something like that or maybe just straight up having Rick Soffin in a story trailer talking about how they need to get revenge on the director of Requiem as we know that in Modern Warfare 3 Rick Soffin is potentially going up and up and up the ladder in power so again we're gonna have to wait and see. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Nolan North will be returning as Richtofen? And do you think Richtofen will have a part to play in Black Ops 6 Zombies? I think it's all that confirmed at this point that both Nolan North will be returning, then Richtofen will probably be the primary antagonist. Again, we'll have to wait and see. I don't think he's going to be like an operator, but again, I feel like from an Activision standpoint, a Richtofen operator pack would make a hell of a lot of money as pretty much all the zombie fans would buy it. So again, we're going to have to wait and see. And for more Call of Duty Zombies videos as well as Black Ops 6, like leading up, I will be covering, you know, COD Next and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Lockhart QT, and I hope you all have a fantastic day today. Bye.